What is up everybody and welcome to a brand new video and today we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic, actually multiple topics, just like we do every single day. As you guys know, on August 6th, the Ukrainian army has invaded the Kursk region and captured quite a large part of Kursk region. And obviously, as you would know, a lot of Russians tried to run away and a lot of them succeeded. But because they have run away, obviously they don't have a house to live in or anything like that. But as you know, the president of Russia has signed a decree that gives all of those people who have escaped Kursk a one-time payment of $100 so that they could rent themselves out an apartment and be able to buy themselves food for a month. Now the question is, when was the last time that Vladimir Putin has actually bought himself anything? Because $100 in Russia is absolutely nothing. You can't rent an apartment for that money or either a room. Or you can't even get yourself enough groceries for the month. But you would think that the Russian government might be actually helping those people who ran away. But I gotta tell you one thing, guys. I only tell the truth and the truth only. I'm a Russian citizen giving you the Russian news straight up to you. So subscribe to the channel and like this video. But I gotta tell you one thing, guys. Elections are way more important. And you might be thinking, Ivan, why are you saying that elections? There, what, what, what elections are you talking about? And to elaborate more on this information, let me read out a message that has been floating around the internet since today. I'm literally gonna read this out so we could see that a representative from a volunteer organization has messaged the deputy governor, Roman Denisov. Yevgeny Nazarov, a message. Good afternoon, I represent the volunteer organization of the city of Kursk. Every day we face a very heavy workload helping a large number of people. We have already had more than 10,000 people all this time, and currently we urgently need support. There's not enough help for everyone. The number of people is only increasing every day. There's no housing for everyone. Sometimes people just stay outside to spend the night. We have made an official request to Alexei Smirnov with a request for cooperation and assistance, but unfortunately we have not yet received a response we were sent to the Ministry of Information and Public Relation of the Kursk region, but no one answered us there either. Now we're facing a critical shortage of food and things which make our work difficult. We understand that assistance cannot be endless, but the current volume of needs exceed our capabilities. We really hope for your help and support. Obviously on August 26, there was absolutely no replies. So on August 29, Yevgeny Nazarova messages again. We need help. There are loads of people. Where can we turn? So obviously this lady is a volunteer and she is trying to help all those people who had to run away from Kursk region for them to have housing, food, and all the necessities that a person might need. And on August 30th, Roman Denisov has replied, Hello, unfortunately we can't help you at the moment. The elections are coming. You should understand everything yourself. After the 20th, we will consider your appeal. So it seems like for this person right here, elections are way more important than the Russian citizens that had to escape Kursk region. There are a lot of people saying how the Russian government is amazing and that it's way better than in many other countries. But from this simple message right here, you could see that the Russian government doesn't give a flying duck about its citizens that are in situation where families are basically living on the streets. This is just unbelievable, but I am here trying to show you guys the reality of what is going on in Russia right now. And this is it. Now to the next topic. As you guys know, yesterday's video was about Putin's visit 
to Mongolia, where he was supposed to get arrested by the ICC. Obviously, he didn't get arrested because Mongolia doesn't think that the Roman statue is of any importance. So, they didn't arrest Putin. Although, even that he has diplomatic immunity, they could have done it. And by doing that, or at least not even letting him in the country. Now, I know a lot of you guys have told me in the comment section below that Mongolia is pinned between Russia and China. But when you allow this type of person to come into your country, you're basically showing the whole world that you're cooperating with that regime. And I find it unbelievable. I would have loved that Mongolia at least wouldn't have let him in or made up some excuse so that he wouldn't fly in. Now, what's interesting to me is, is Mongolia going to be having any sanctions after this? Because you could think that they are the collaborators of the current Russian regime. This way, Putin is showing power to the West, saying, hey, look at us. You can't catch me whatsoever. What are you going to do now? I'm going to be flying all around the place and nobody is going to be stopping me. Well, let's see what Dmitry Medvedev has commented about this on his Telegram channel. Now, he actually likes to comment um, about different situations in his Telegram channel. I'm not sure what he smokes or drinks, but this is what he said. The ICC should be afraid of attempts to execute their warrant against Putin, Medvedev said. And I quote him, if I were the judges and prosecutors of this unfinished court, I would be most afraid that one of the madmen would try to execute their illegal warrant. In that case, their lives will be worth no more than this piece of shit. This is what a Russian government official has literally said in his Telegram channel, where thousands of Russian citizens read this, and they think that this is normal to think about the ICC this way. It's not like the ICC court has made up some sort of a made-up story about this. The guy literally in invaded Ukraine for zero reasons. I know there's going to be a lot of people in the comments telling me about the Minsk agreements and all that stuff, but come on, what are you talking about? Ukraine is its own country and they could do whatever the heck they want. They didn't do anything bad to the Russian people, they were just living their own life. But it had to be all overturned by the Russian president. Now yesterday I showed you a part where Vladimir Putin was actually in Siberia. Sorry, he was in Siberia talking to school children and Putin said that there would be a desire to enter peace talks with Ukraine. And I quote him, I am sure that this provocation will fail as well. This is talking about the Kursk incursion. It seems to me that there will be a desire to really, not in words but in deeds, move on to peace negotiations and resolve these issues by peaceful means. We have never given up on this, but we must, of course, deal with these bandits who have entered the territory of the Russian Federation, Putin said. So he is calling the Ukrainian soldiers that have basically invaded the Kursk region bandits, but then who is he? Who is the Russian government if not bandits? Because he says that if somebody invades Russia, they're bandits. But if Russia invades somewhere, they're not bandits. But I gotta agree with something. To actually start peace talks and get the situation sorted out, we need to get rid of bandits in the Russian Federation. And by bandits, I mean the whole Russian government that is in control of Russia. And now a lot of people are probably saying, Ivan, all the stories you're telling us feels like you hate Russia. Guys, I'm Russian, I love my country, and I love it a lot. The problem is I hate the Russian government because they have been screwing my country over for the past 25 years. It could have been an amazing country with an amazing economy, but instead my country decides to invade 
other countries and not care about its own citizens by putting them in jail and <laughs> when they actually get retaliated from the country that they attacked, not even help its own citizens. This is today's story about the news from Russia. I hope you found them very informative. I would like to hear what you guys think about this situation in the comment section below. Really appreciate your guys' support in the Patreon. I really appreciate the subscription. The channel is growing. The likes you've been putting and the comments that you guys have been writing. Thank you very much and I'll talk to you guys next time.